Hey guys, and welcome to another oh WoW video. For today's video, I decided that since last week we got Una, I thought she would come with me for one of my longest transmog farms that I've been doing. So we are going to go hit up the Emerald Nightmare. I farm this place all the time for the first uh, Seder uh, Spalders. I'd love to tell you that I got them in like five attempts or 20 attempts or, or even 50 attempts. And honestly, I don't have a tracker for my transmog and I don't physically track it. But I can tell you, I've been running this place pretty consistently since Legion, so it's well over those attempt numbers. You can get these shoulders from two different versions of Emerald Nightmare, Heroic and Mythic. So you could go in each week and try on two different difficulties, so get two attempts in. If you have other leather classes, you could also bring them in. I only ever farmed these on my druid. While I really wanted them, I felt no need to actually bring in other leatherware. So you can do it on one character, but it may take you a while. Okay, so for starters, for maybe new people that have never done this raid before, uh, this is located out in Valshara. And the entrance is at 5637. I've put a picture up here so you can just check on the map here. Your destination point is that heart. Uh, your closest flight path, uh, unless you're a druid. I, I usually just port to my class hall for my druid. But if you're not, the closest flight path is Starsong Refuge. This was actually the first raid in Legion. Uh, it's semi-decent for bosses. It's a good boss raid for being a first one. Uh, it's got seven bosses. And, you know, nowadays you can run through this really fast. So the seven boss raid is not going to take you a while. Um, but if you are either working on your skip quest or haven't even started it, you are going to have to kill every boss to be able oh to get to oh the final boss. If you have the skip quest, once you complete that, you will still have to kill this first boss that you see us at right now. But after that, you just walk up the path or run up the path and then you can just talk to the guy. But, like I said, if you haven't, you're going to have to do all these little sections you see at the side. Hail to the night. Behold, the iris open. So, basically, when you talk to the guy, you technically have two bosses that you'll have to kill. Scenarius, he's super easy, so he's, you know, they're all easy at this level now. But once he's dead, you just jump down and you will be at Xavius, and he is the one that drops his shoulders. As for him, the fight is pretty easy. Yeah, you're not going to struggle at all. And as for the fight itself, all, all you're doing is clearing this trash and then he will come out and, you know, you'll be able to fight him. I was super happy to get these shoulders. I'd been going after them for a long time and I recently changed my druid's transmog and we're rolling with the red and... Once I changed it to that, I wanted those shoulders even more. So it's nice to have shoulders to go with my transmog. I wish you guys luck. I hope it doesn't take too many attempts. You know, some people get lucky with it being like less than 10 attempts, but most of us, and chances are the ones that play regularly, we are usually the ones stuck grinding this shit for months, years, <laughs> you know, it's the casual ones that walk in looted on like their 
fifth try or something, right? So hopefully you're not farming this for too terribly long. Um, I was, you know, I, I would say as far as consistent farming, I, I was farming it when I could in current, when this was the Legion expansion, but, um, as far as like soloing it, I've been soloing this place pretty consistent since BFA. I only run it on the Druid, so it's only two chances I put in per week, but still it's been pretty consistent to the point where I pretty much have all the transmogs out of this place. They're, I'm down to my last two tough ones, because now I have the shoulders, right? But yeah, my last two tough ones is the Illusion Nightmare that's usually on the black market for like a mil minimum. Uh, trying to get that so that I don't have to buy that. Uh, it's the same same thing I did with these shoulders. I would always see these shoulders on the black market for like half mil. And I didn't want to buy them. And luckily I, you know, looted them. So, so there's that illusion I'm still after. And the other item is the trash in this place, which is really rough to be honest, because, uh, since, since I don't need anything off the other bosses, I'm going to do that trash for pretty much very little reason. But there's a zone drop, and it's off the trash, and it's a bind on pickup, or else I would just buy it off the auction house. But because it's a bind on pickup, I have to farm it. And yeah, and it only comes off the trash. So those are my two last items. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully those will get done. But aside from that, I still feel pretty accomplished. This was the last real item I really wanted. You know, I want the illusion and I want that bind on pickup, but it's just to 100% my, I've collected everything in Emerald Nightmare. Whereas these shoulders, I legit wanted to wear them. So it was a little different there. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Good luck on your shoulders. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.